Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be touching on the new Horizon Backstage Pass, basically how it works and how you can earn passes in order to buy cars. Now for those of you who remember back in the days of Horizon 4, the Backstage Pass was created for those of you who missed uh, previous cars that were given out as prizes during festival playlists where you weren't able to obtain them and that's exactly what they've done here. Now I'm assuming this means that we're coming to the end of Horizon 5's lifespan but we'll touch on that in another video. Now as you can see here in the main backstage pass area there are two different options now this can be accessed through your garage or also through the main menu when you're out on the road and there's two different things here so you've got backstage voting which we'll touch on in a minute and the backstage shop as well as that, you can see the number within the backstage shop that shows you how many passes you actually have. Now, the backstage shop contains various cars that you can purchase with your backstage passes. I'll touch on in a second how you can earn them. At the bottom left, you can see how much backstage passes each car will cost. And at the top, again, you can see the number you own. Now, in order to earn backstage passes, there's two ways you can do it. So the first option is in the weekly festival playlists, earn 40 points, and that will unlock you a backstage pass. So you've obviously got an opportunity each week to do that. And also you can purchase them for a thousand Forzathon points in the Forzathon shop. Now you can only purchase it once within the shop each week. So in a month, you'll be able to earn eight backstage passes. And I presume that this will be a continuing feature uh, throughout the rest of the game's life, basically. Now heading back into the main menu, again as you can see here, these are the options that you can pick for the cars, now these will change each week. The good thing about this is as well, it tells you which cars you already own, so if you don't need to, you don't have to buy a duplicate by accident. So as you can see here, there's two I don't own, which is the limousine and the 280 SL Mercedes, so I can choose to pick either but only one as I've only got one backstage pass, which I purchased from the Forzathon shop. If I want to buy the limo, I've now got to go and earn 40 points within the festival playlist to purchase that. However, I don't need to worry about the rest of them. Now, once you've purchased what you want, you can have a look at the backstage voting area. Now, this basically gives you the option to vote for which set of cars you want to be added into the backstage shop on the next week so as you can see in the bottom right hand corner you've got a time remaining section so you can vote for the two on the left or the two on the right it's entirely down to yourself you only get one vote and you cannot change it after making that vote me personally i prefer the toyota Treno and the 575 ferrari marinello so that's what I'm going to opt for. However, you can, of course, pick whichever ones you want. You won't find out straight away what the current results of the poll are. You will find out in a couple of days time and they'll be the ones added into the backstage shop. And that's effectively how the backstage passes work. So it's quite a simple sort of way of earning cars that you've previously missed, but it's a great way of doing so. So if there is a festival playlist that was maybe a year or so ago and you missed a car and you've not been able to purchase it from the auction house because it's so rare, then now might be your chance to get it. There is normally a decent selection of cars within it, but it does also mean that potentially the game is coming to the end of its lifespan, which hopefully means that Horizon 6 will be just around the corner. But anyway, I hope this little guide helped out on how to use the backstage passes if you have any other questions about it please do let me know down below in the comments and i will try my very best to answer as many as i can if it did help you new to the channel i'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you stay safe and take care